Welcome back to Black, White, and Red All Over, starring Victor. Hello. And Ryan. Hi. <laughs> Today, we would like to discuss three books that we think you should be picking up. One, Dead Body Road. Something happens in it that I've never seen pulled off well in a comic. You know what? Like, I think they actually, they actually talk about that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, they do. At the very end. Mm -hmm. Two, Silver Surfer by Dan Slott and Mike Aldrin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was like Silver Surfer in a Doctor Who episode. Good which is, call. Which is really... Yes. Fun. Yes. And then... The newest issue of Superior Spider-Man. People that... If you've been to the shop, you know mm -hmm. that I have hated Superior Spider-Man. With a passion. I am about to send a formal apology to Dan Slott. Say it now. I mean, just let him know. Let him know. Mr. Slott, mm -hmm. I have been a hater. Uh, I apologize for every negative thing I've said about your run on Superior Spider-Man. I apologize for my reaction to Amazing Spider-Man 700. This, and I've been reading Spider-Man for 34 years, I believe. The best Spider-Man book I have read Ever. You heard this. You heard this. I am sorry. Give me your address, and I will send you a fruit basket. That's that's real. That's I'm real. dead serious. I, I will step out here, and I will admit that I have not been following Superior Spider-Man um, to my, my own little piece of, of sadness um, post-reading this, uh, this book here. But I can tell you right now, this is the moment that this generation of young readers you have inspired more creators. I will tell you, that's what yes. this moment is right now. This is, that, this is that moment where you're like, comics do this? I want to make some of those. Yeah. Yes. 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 We'll, 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 yeah. we'll okay. get to that. Yeah. <clears throat> First up, mm -hmm. Dead Body Road. Mm -hmm. Crime story, uh, this guy, his, his, his wife gets involved in some, some dirty dealings. She ends up getting murdered. Mm -hmm. So it's basically a revenge story where he's trying to figure out who the, who the trigger man was. He doesn't care about anything else. That's right. And this is where it brings it to this insane interrogation scene set in a car chase. Car chase. In a comic. <laughs> yes. In a comic. comic. You've never seen that before. Yeah. Yes. And Skybound, shout out to y'all for daring do. Yeah. It's just, just amazing because it's, it's so hard to do because like in a movie or a television series, there's the motion, and you can you can you can you can get all that drama. Right. With a comic, it's it's a very. Not, they're stills. I, they're static yeah. in images. They don't move. Yeah. But somebody didn't tell Mateo that. Yeah. Uh, Mateo Scalero, he just broke open your mind on this one oh. and just made everything kinetic, chaotic, magic. Yeah. It just the you could feel the motion as the as the van is weaving in and out of traffic. Yes. Uh, what's what's going on is the uh, the main character has has gotten a hold of one of the head people of the, the the gang that was involved in her death. Right. And he's either going to interrogate him or use him as leverage. And or both. So, yeah. Or both. Oh, yeah. And so he's got him in this van. They're trying to get away. Uh, the head of the gang is following him with a bunch of other other people on motorcycles. Gunfire. Uh, really, really solid dialogue over yes, the phone. Yes, I was going to say quips. It, just it, abroad. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, I loved just, it. It was really just, just fantastic. Something about it reminded me of the movie Heat. I don't know exactly yeah. what it yeah. was. Justin Jordan kind of knocked that out the park where he just, it, it felt real. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. It's, it really, that's a perfect descriptor because I was trying to, trying to reach for the, the movie that it really had the feel Heat. of. That's, that's the one that did it for me. Yeah. I was like, uh, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely recommend picking this one up. Yes, yes. And I feel like a dummy because I didn't realize this was issue four. The cover doesn't say what yeah. issue it is. So I just picked it up as like, this looks interesting, and you just, boom, right there in the story, yeah. go. Right and in the middle. It's, it's one that you don't need the other issues to know what's going on. You can jump into this yeah. and just marvel at the storytelling, the pacing, everything. No, Fantastic totally. job. Definitely. Really good. Next up, mm -hmm. Silver Surfer number one. Mm -hmm. uh, art by Ma Mike Allgred. Uh, most recently with FF. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Madman is also the other thing that he's really, really famous for. Mm -hmm. uh, written by Dan Slott. Who we're loving this week. Yeah. We are yeah, loving Much love to Mr. Slott. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The... The basic setup is Silver Surfer is drafted into saving this psycho resort planet. Maybe that's that seems to be where it's going. Yeah, it's yes. like a, like a vacation resort planet. Yes, and we don't really know why or who's attacking it, but he's been drafted into into saving it. 
And what makes it like super Doctor Whovian to me mm -hmm. is at the beginning there's this really sweet story where there's these twin girls and their father sees a falling star and he says, oh, make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. And you know, one, one kid wishes to see the world and the other one just like legit as the sweetest little kid possibly can be. I wish that falling star never finishes falling so everybody can have a wish. That's beautiful. She gets trapped as like the bait to make surfer do this. Yeah. And he has no clue who she is. She no. has no who clue who Surfer is. And it's just like it's just the You know what though? I'm I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this out there because yeah. it didn't quite say it, but I do believe that through the way that they told that story, mm -hmm. Surfer was who she made that wish when it wasn't actually a star. It wasn't actually a comet, it was him. That would make sense. So that's why there's this attachment, but he doesn't know anything yeah. about it. And she doesn't know, she just knows it was a star. Right. Oh. See, I'm telling you, I'm just, I just think brilliant. Dan Slott, dude, you are winning everything right now. Yeah. So I think the art on this one is so lovely. I love Mike Allred stuff. Oh, yeah. It is uh, such a classic um, reinterpretation of Kirby and, and Toth and, and so many different things, but yeah. so his yeah. that this thing, that two page spread, that's going to hurt your face. Yeah. Like, you're going to try to look at that, and you're going to look, and you're going to have to look away, and you're going to look, and you're going to have to look away, because it is a lot going on. I can't even imagine what it took to draw that. Yeah, that had to have it taken, beautiful. taken forever. It's yeah. just, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It reads very quickly, mm -hmm. but very solidly. And it's just really, it, fans of Doctor Who, pick it up. Yes. Fans of Silver Surfer, pick Definitely it up. Definitely pick it up. Yeah. If you just like reading good stuff, Pick it Pick up. It up. Yeah. It's really, it's incredible. I felt like this one was, like, you keep saying Doctor Who, and I feel like it was like a tried and true episode, yeah. which works really well. Like this, yeah. I mean, you almost had commercial breaks that you expect in this yeah. one. That's, that's a, Dan, I, and you, Dan and Mike, put them together yeah. again. Marvel, do it now, and I say. As a, because you do, like, comics is your thing. Like, I yes. sell comics, he makes comics. When, there's, there's a, a couple scenes where, like, the bottom panels are the, the 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 human right and then the top or the surfer and the right. stories are being told juxtapositionally simultaneously. like it's so cool the way that they just flow and it's almost like they're telling they're filling in the blanks for each other yeah without being involved whatsoever yeah genius yeah genius just, just fantastic mm -hmm. last and probably should have been first no 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 it's best to save it don't shoot that wad yet okay all right show it back Spear Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. At some point, do not be surprised if Victor slaps I me. might have to. Okay. <laughs> this was the most Spider-Man comic mm -hmm. I have ever read. Yes. Uh, the concept of with great power comes great responsibility. Epitomized. Yeah. Right here on the page, across the board. It is... As, as I gave the analogy before, it is the moment in All-Star Superman when Lex Luthor finally recognizes that to be Superman is why Superman is Superman. Yeah. So if you can, if that is not telltale, hint, hint, nudge, nudge for you, that is the epitome of what we've got going on right here. Otto has, has realized. Yeah. And it is beautiful. Yeah. The, beautiful. The goblin has, he's got the death trap going where mm -hmm. the, the woman Otto loves is, is going to die or he can save Spider-Man 2099. Right. He's got those two options. The, the spider hunting robots are all over the city. Right. J, 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 uh, Jameson, he's on the robes. You find out the, the people that were making the robots for the city are actually agents of the Green Goblin. That's right. <laughs> right, right, right. And Otto makes the choice to save the woman he loves, which is not something Parker would have done. And it just leads to a sequence of events that are, th this is going to change the game. This will be one of the most monumental comic book events this year at least, but I'm gonna say for a while. Yeah, this, is, a while. this is the Spider-Man comic. Like people are gonna know about Spider-Man's Amazing 700. They're gonna know about it. Right. But this is the one that I think when people look back to the the early 20 teens, right? This is going to be the hallmark issue. I can see this that. This is the one because it's simultaneously Parker and Otto having that moment of realization of who they are meant to be. Yes. And sacrificing whatever it takes to to, to get do there. that. Yeah. And like anybody that was on the fence about 
how how's how? And I'm going to say Mr. Slot. Yes, that's much respect you, I have you for earn, right now. You earned that one. You earned that one. Anyone and I, and I was I was one of these people. I, I was like, how is he going to write himself out of this? Right. We know we know with the movie coming out that it was going to happen, but how's it going to happen? Right. It was brilliant. It it every potential. Uh, it's. He can't. He can't I, talk I can't. about it. Look, he's doing it again. Yeah, he's doing I, it again. He's doing it again. The end of this book. I almost flipped the table over. It was so awesome. Yeah. It just. Yeah. Just. This you, this yeah. is this is that's that's all I can say is this is. Spider-Man. Yeah. This is Spider-Man. And that's... Yeah. What, yeah. what Bendis did with Ultimate Spider-Man mm -hmm. uh, years ago, awesome. Right. Uh, just buy them. Just buy the book. Do I it. almost swore. Do it now. Uh, Do it now. I, in, in, in fact, I'm going to be jumping onto the Diamond website first thing tomorrow morning yes. to order as many copies of this as I can. He outright, he like, as he turned the page, was like, I didn't order enough. Yeah. Like, I, that, was, that was the moment it, for him. I, Ryan turned into a 10-year-old, a 10-year-old boy. I watched it happen. It was amazing. It was magic. This is, like I said, this is one of those moments that will inspire future comic book creators to pick up pen, to put down ideas, to even dare to say, I want to write yeah. Spider-Man. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. Well done. Very well done. Get me that address, well you done. get a fruit basket. Absolutely, slot. absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You, you you made my yeah. decade. Thank you. Yes. And with that, <laughs> you have a nice evening. Whoa, 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 wait. What? This weekend, guys, I will be venturing to the West Coast to the Emerald City Comic Con for the first time. If you are out that way in Seattle, come see me at table E4. That's where I will be representing all weekend. You can see some of my books, some of my pixel art stuff, all kinds of awesomeness that I'm bringing from Columbus, Ohio, all the way out to that Emerald Coast beautifulness. Love you guys. Thank you.